pick that time. Third long situations. A lot of coordinators in this league will run a draw play on third long. Why? Because they're just looking for field position, pick up a few yards, and then by some miracle, if the running back's able to make guys miss, break some tackles, and pick up a first down, man, that's just gravy. The Rams don't have a lot of options on third and long situations. The pass goes incomplete, and the defense did a good job of staying back there and not giving up the deep throw. He's brought down at the 23-yard line. Well, the best thing we can say about that punt return, well, he didn't fumble the football. The Giants gearing up for their next drive now as defense has become... will take the snap from the 25. And it's the tight end, Jared Cook, on the receiving end. So far, wonderful execution in this drive. When you get a chance to get out of bounds, here the offensive player got the yardage, had a chance, gets out of the bound, stops the clock. Good job by the offense. Curley's tackled down after a gain of two. After the two-yard carry, it sets up second down and eight. The Rams decide to take a timeout here, leaving them with only one. Third down after the sack. The Rams lined up. Everybody split out wide. Dropping back now into the shotgun. Down the field. But it falls incomplete. Well, they always say if you get your hands on the football, you got to make the catch. Yeah, right. The guy that made that rule up wasn't getting hit as he was trying to catch the football. Nice hit that time Let's by the go. defender. And that punt is going out of bounds. They are not going to allow them to return it. The Rams take the field here in the second half, looking to extend their lead in this one, partner. Yeah, you know what you do? It's halftime is over. You come out here. You're not sure what the new game plan is going to be, but feel your way into the game. Don't take a chance early and turn the football over. That's his fourth catch of the day. That's what you want to do. Just get a first down, especially when you're on top. Keep the clock moving. Keep the defense guessing. Make them react instead of attack. And he'll hand it off to the fullback. When you run the football like this and you show toughness, there is no doubt when you fake it and try to throw the football down the field, the quarterback's going to have all day to get it done. Curley's marked down after a gain of four. Holding offense. The defense accepts the penalty. Still second down. And now, after the penalty, it's second down and 15. Cook's got the catch and the first. Well, this tight end is bouncing back. That's a big deal in this league, Phil. And he didn't have a good game last outing, but today, a completely different story. Well, he's such a good player, Jim, that it's hard for him to have two bad games in a row. And so far today, he has been sharp, and the quarterback is putting it right on target. He's now over 50 yards rushing on the day. Jim, the offensive coordinator, has done a terrific job so far here today. He's got his team winning. They're in the red zone. Let's see how clever he's going to be on this call. Jumps up and hauls it in. Now looking at the stats, we see two straight games where the passing game has been shaky at best. Listen, we know that stats lie. And over these games, it's not all the quarterback's fault. He needs help. Second and goal from the nine. And that gains a few. Way in 
into the third. Sims is touchdown, St. Louis. He now has 10 touchdown passes. Hard to cover. The Rams have done a whale of a job taking their halftime lead and adding a whole lot more to it here in the third quarter. And they're just doing everything we saw them do in the first half. Just dominating the pace of play and just being more physical than the defense. We don't always get to see defensive matchups these days, but today it's been exactly that. Low scoring game, and it's because both defenses have really stepped up and done their job. Yeah, a lot of people look at games like this and go, oh, that's boring. I think it's fun to see because we don't get to see it too often. And what it does, it puts a lot of pressure on the players and especially the coaches to make decisions that are going to give their team a chance to win in a game like this. Looking at the passing numbers on both sides of the ball, they're just not there. The coverage has been good and it's been hard to move the ball against those secondaries. Yeah, good job for the defense today. They got a good pass rush going. The coverage has been good down the field. And also, the defense has been good, but the quarterback has not been real sharp. The Rams will take the snap from the 30. Hecker is back now. He'll be punting. And a touchback. The Rams offense is on the field, hoping to erase the memory of their last drive, which was completely unproductive, a quick three and out. Yeah, it was. Well, I don't know if they can erase this defense. This defense is pretty good. We saw that in the last drive. They got good players, and they're pretty excited. So this is going to be tough on the offense. Second down and in a very precarious spot. The Giants with two extra defensive backs in the dime. Second and ten. Hurley's brought down after picking up just a yard. When you're on the defensive side in a situation like this, you know the offense is going to be limited. Be aggressive. Get up there at the line of scrimmage and try to make it happen. That time they did it, and they stopped the run for just a short game. Third and nine. Going for the home run. Nice catch. When you can't hit the quarterback or put pressure on him, there's not much you're going to get done then. That time, quarterback had time. He throws it down the field for another completion. Toss to the outside. And that's a gain of nine. He's averaging five yards per carry on the day. Second and short following the run. Here's the quick toss. They take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. They're able to move the chains after that last run. Right back to him. Gurley's marked down at the 41. Second and seven on the way. The Rams snap it at the 41. Able to read that play and make the hit. The Giants' defense is so fast and so powerful. That time on the run play, they just overpower the offensive line and they tackle the runner for a loss. They'll send it back to the quarterback out of the gun. And it's incomplete. The Rams really don't have much of a chance of picking up this first down. It's third and long. Of course, the defense is looking for passes down the field. They're all over everything, and the pass goes incomplete. No chance to return this one as that punt is headed to the sidelines.
the Rams bringing their offense onto the field. It wasn't a very productive possession for them last time out, partner. They ended up punting. Well, you know what it was? It was a good feeling out process. So they got some knowledge by watching the defense and what defenses they tried on them. So you've got to take advantage of that knowledge and come out here and make some plays. Quickly to the line. Second down and a long way to go. And he's taken down. When you're a corner, you can take some chances when you know your defense can sack the quarterback without blitzing. Good job that time by the defensive front. Two minutes, two minutes remaining in the game. Welcome back. Coming out of the two-minute warning here in the final quarter. The Giants with a nickel look here on defense. The Rams have it at the 24. And he's going to be tackled, and that's going to bring us to fourth down. And there's a timeout, so we'll take one with them. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. This will be a field goal attempt from 41 yards out. The kick is good. The outcome of this game is probably now all but decided is that field goal makes it virtually official. Yeah, I think it does make it official. They're going to win this. The Rams put some points on the board on their previous possession, but it was just a field goal. They'll be looking to add some more right here. Yeah, they will. And, you know, listen, you know, when you talk about touchdown drives, you have to kick a field goal. What does that mean? That means you failed on third down. Just not a good play on third down. they got to do better in that situation. If they do, that's going to lead to seven points. After that timeout by the defense, play is ready to resume. Second down and two to go after the running play. Two tight ends on the field here. As his target. They bring him to the turf. The Giants call a timeout here. They have zero timeouts remaining. The defense has got to be a little aggressive here. Your team is down. You've got to attack this offense. You don't want them to get in there and get another score. That leads us to second down. Short yardage. And the quarterback's the Butler's there to take it down. job by the offense so little time left to drive down the field and score that just ices the game nice job by the whole football team today but especially on the offensive side People love to go for two in this game, don't they? Well, they do. And you know what? Now, I guess you and I just can't sit here and blast the coach for a bad decision. When you pick up the two points, you can't complain about what they're trying to do. 